All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Boxing Wave. So if you haven't heard already, uh, Errol Spence was involved in a very, very serious car accident. And judging from the photos and the reports, um, early, early this morning in Dallas, around three o'clock in the morning, okay, he was driving his in his Ferrari very fast, um, as you can assume based on the photos and the, the damage on the vehicle. Um, He's driving really fast. Uh, he flipped over a road a few times over the center line of the, the road and uh, was ejected from the car. OK, um, whether or not he was in tox or anything, no reports has said anything on that. They haven't gave any detail, um, no details on the injuries. OK, they just said that he has serious injuries, but not life threatening injuries. All right. So. I'm sure that he's gotten some pretty bad bruising, cuts, uh, maybe some broken bones, some fractures. I'm sure he's received some bad damages, and you know, um, and 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 as far as, far as the reports, um, there's no report that I've read up to this point because I've been keeping tabs on it all day. I could have done a video earlier. But I kind of I woke up to the news, you know, my boy, uh, my boy, Chad, USA MVP and my mom texted me earlier this morning. So I woke up to my phone and saw the news and was like, oh, man. And then I started reading all the reports and all the reports basically say the same thing, you know, not life threatening injuries, but like serious injuries, which I mean, dude, it's a tough dude. You know, I mean, I, I seen the picture and it's like, damn, you know. Anyone could have lost their life in that kind of uh, accident, okay? Uh, I think it's time for, you gotta, in, you know, I, I wish the best for Errol Spence. I hope he has a speedy recovery. Um, I just hope he's healthy. Whether or not he can box, um, return back to the ring, it's not even about that right now. It's more about him being healthy. I was just, I was just thinking about, uh, I had just watched a video on YouTube um, the same week that he fought Sean Porter with him and he was introducing his two daughters in the video and it was a real cool video and um, you know this guy seemed like a family man I mean I, I knew all of this about Errol already you know but uh, I like Errol he's mentally strong you know we might talk a little shit here and there about whether or not he should fight a Terrence Crawford and stuff like that. It's, it's not really about that. At the end of the day, we're one, we're all, especially the YouTube community, we're all one big family. Everybody has difference in opinions and stuff like that. But I just want the best for Harold. You know, hopefully the injuries are not serious to a point where he's disfigured. You know, we, we want him to be there for his family, be able to take care of his family. Um, and luckily he didn't lose his life, but let's just still also hope that he's healthy enough to be able to take care of his family. And, you know, he doesn't need to be taken care of from this point on. That's the one thing. Of course, hopefully down the line, hopefully he can come back to being, um, come back to the ring and, uh, you know, still be on a, an, an elite level boxer. I mean, that's a bonus. But we want to make sure that he's good and he can take care of his family. It doesn't seem like anyone else was hurt. He wasn't involved in an accident with any other vehicles. And like I said, no one, it doesn't, I mean, as far as the reports, no one else was in the vehicle with him. All right. Or well, we don't know. All right. So we'll find out more information. I will definitely keep you guys updated. But, uh, Dude is a strong dude. I think he'll be fine. Um, please take it easy in the comments, all right? This can happen to anyone. I mean, this hits home for me because uh, I just had, I have a close cousin who just was involved not even a month ago in a serious car accident where his car rolled like six times, all right? And he broke his neck and uh, his little daughter was in the car in the back seat and she just recovered she only had suffered a bruise on her forehead his car was totally tore uh totaled like i say he broke his neck um very close to the spine area he had his surgery everything went well he's gonna be okay um but you know me him 
all car dudes, especially me, I'm into the car thing. Anything that happened with Earl Spence, let's say if I was in position to have an owner Ferrari, it could have easily happened to me. You know, I'm a big car buff. I've owned three sports cars before. The, 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 the car I currently own is the first car that's, that wasn't a sports car in a long, long time. I mean, since the age of 18, I've owned nothing but sports cars, you know, and I'm, I'm 36 now. And this is the first car that's not a sports car that I own. But I love, I absolutely love sports cars. It could have happened to any of us. I've been there. I've been in car accidents. <laughs> you know, I've wrecked my car. I've I've done, I've, I've, I've been there. So I've never owned a Ferrari. But uh, it could have happened to anyone. So please don't be judgmental in the comments, uh, regardless of the situation, because we've all it could have been any of us it could have been any of us man and life life happens so fast man when you make so much money i could only imagine how it would be if i just started boxing professionally and started earning millions and millions and millions of dollars per fight it can happen to all of us okay especially if you are crazy and you like fast cars and I totally get it, man. I've totally been there. You know, I I was young. I was in the car meets. I, I was into the imports and all of that. I've been there. So I, I totally understand uh, one of my favorite, one of my idols and one of my favorite celebrities, period, Paul Walker. He died in a car accident. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so don't be judgmental. You know what I'm saying? This all, This can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone and like again i i wish for errol to have a speedy recovery um and then when he does recover as he's recovering take care of your family if you need to take time from the sport boxing is not going anywhere just make sure you're good and that's it you've made a, a lot of money i'm sure you've made some great incredible investments and if you can't come back to the sport it's okay you know you are a unified welterweight champion um you know what i'm saying in my eyes you're you're already a legend you know what i mean just from the rumors of you beating floyd's ass in a damn and sparring is is just good enough you know what i'm saying so yes there's more that i want to see you accomplish i know you want to be the best at 147 i know you want to go up to 154 you want to take new challenges but take care of yourself bro like that'll all come and if, if it doesn't you did what you could and and you had a great run all right so again be respectful in the comments i don't want to have to block anyone today because this is serious business we're not about we're not about any disrespect here on this channel not here all right so um arrow hope you get well soon and hope to see you again soon and take care of your family peace